Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999. I am on Chords, and we are completing a freaking Bard epic. I wish I had the footage for all the fights to get me to this point, but honestly, it's taken so long, and I didn't even expect to get the white skill whenever I got it that, um, uh, yeah, I didn't record anything. But that's fine. Chords has now completed his epic. You can see the turn in. It actually happened. Things were there, and I got a sword that has little blue flickery uh, notes on it. It's pretty dope. You know, I, back in live, I never got my epic because uh, whenever, um, whenever Luke Luna came out, I was in a guild that did raid, but we didn't raid enough to the point where I would have gone for my epic and when Lookling came out it showed me that EverQuest had a different direction it was going than what I wanted to go so I uh, stepped away and went to Dark Age of Camelot until EverQuest 2 came out which for me and not everybody else not, not everyone thought EverQuest 2 was the end all be all badass that it was but I really enjoyed it I played an Inquisitor for eight years and i really enjoyed it i had a lot of fun and uh yeah i was i was um sad to see the changes that they ended up making to the game they kept changing things like mitigation how tanks mitigated damage it really originally was mitigation the amount of ac you had and um your abilities and then uh, of course your aas as well and then they ended up changing it to potency. And then after potency, they changed it to something else. And I was like, I, I don't want to keep going down this road. Why can't you just keep it at mitigation or whatever it is that was initially the plan? I, I Anyway, so I ended up uh, leaving EverQuest 2 and started seeking out another game, which ended up after a long time being project 1999 and whenever i joined project 1999 i had two goals in mind number one i wanted to be a bard because i love playing my bard on live and number two i wanted to group with as many people as i could possibly group with because i felt that what made me enjoy the game originally was the people i surrounded myself with getting to know everyone, having people on my friends list. If I logged on, I didn't have problems getting in a group. And back in the day, bards had that Shadow Knight Paladin stigma to them that while they're great class, they benefit the group a lot. They are also taken away from the group because of the negative experience bonus or whatever it was that, um, that people were spreading at the time. It wasn't true. It only affected the player. It didn't affect the group. So, anyway. <laughs> um, I also wanted to delve into a little bit of other stuff. So, uh, I just want to let you know that the reason that I haven't been as consistent on uploading videos or recording videos or playing EverQuest, I mean, sometimes you and me, um, I may go months without playing P99 or any game at all, and that's just because I have a physical disability which causes me to have to rest a lot, um, and it causes me pain, so, uh, that's just, that is my, that is my pain medicine, is sleep or rest or putting my legs up and just i don't feel like gaming at all um also i get affected by other things um, like cellulitis which comes with my disease which i i don't have any qualms sure what it is i have um i have phase three or third stage lymphedema in both legs all the way up to my waist and um the only way i can really explain what it looks like <laughs> without uh if you take all the nasty makeup off of this guy's legs in fury road there's the guy who has like the the pig um nose and uh whenever he gets out of his car he, um, one of his goons has taken care of his legs that 
is kind of what I have. I don't have it to that extent. My legs look kind of normal, to be honest, uh, because I get treatment for it, but it is a big part of my life. Cellulitis is a huge part of my life because I have it at least four times a year, and we cannot figure out why it keeps coming back. It's just part of the, the, the issue that I have. So why I don't upload as consistent as I would love to, why I don't stream, and if I do stream, why I don't stream for very long, all ties into that. And I figured there's no reason to not share that with you. People deal with things, and sometimes you just don't know what's going on with somebody. And maybe like, oh, he's just really flaky because uh, he, you know, he's too involved in the game or whatever. And that really isn't uh, the case for me. So chords, um, let's get back to him. Uh, as you'll see through the video, it's pretty much just me grouping with people. I think I've gone through my full catalog of chords videos and only one time, maybe two times do I actually mention swarming. And that's just because that's not really part of my, my thing. It's, it never was, it wasn't uh, for me, it wasn't, trying to get to uh, level 60 as fast as I possibly could it is more of just playing the best bard I could in groups that I was a part of showing people that bards aren't just a swarm um, a swarming class and um, I think everybody has run into a very bad bard I mean it's just the way it is if you've only swarmed and don't know how to play a bard in a group you're gonna be a one song uh, you're gonna be a one song bard most likely maybe a two song but the thing that makes bards so amazing is just having a, a basic understanding of everything that you can do as a bard and every song that you can play and ha having to interweave them and sometimes um, I'll mez a mob just so I can switch in another song because of the fact that it's going to benefit me more in that specific fight So it's it's kind of it's kind of fun in that way But I'm not trying to bring shame to people who play bards who don't know how to play them You're gonna start at a certain level whenever you get into groups and People will help you and if they don't help you you'll learn. I mean Learning through death is a very solid way to learn in this game. Um, not saying that everybody learns that way. I'm just saying that it is a way. Um, so I have plans. And I also want to bring up the video that I posted the other day about Kazakh Dole. It wasn't a video to tell people who already know how to get out, how to get out of the zone. There are people who just don't know how to get out of Kazakh Dole. Um, I made it specifically for one person, and um, they now use that video to get out of the zone, um, to get to raids, things like that. So, yeah, it, it wasn't a serious video, it was more of just me saying, hey, someone brought this up, that they're having a problem getting through the maze, I'm just going to put post a video for it. And I think several people said, yeah, just head west, or um, just... Um, uh, or use Ziles or Inparse or any of those softwares. Yeah, of course you could use those. But is that actually helping you learn the zones? I mean, that's the one thing I, I it, that blows my mind about EverQuest is that I played EverQuest for so long back in the day that I memorized every zone. I know every zone front to back. I know the maze in and out. I, I, I sat in that maze on a warrior <laughs> for so long so I knew it in and out so it, it's so mind-boggling to me that people have to use programs like Xyles but I understand not everybody has a good memory whenever it comes to zones or they're more worried about other things they're not really worried about learning zones or just trying to get levels so that they can be a part of something that they want to be a part of or whatever either way <laughs> Whenever I post videos on zones, it's not to post a video for you specifically. It's to post it for people who 
honestly have either never played the game or are trying to figure out how to get to a certain place in a zone. Um, like in Seb, um, people will say, yeah, we're going to go to NG or ABC or uh, we're going to go to Crypt. Some people have no clue how to get there. Some people don't know how to get to King or Jugs or any of those things. It just it's just the way it is so if you have a video that's just there you can skip to where you're trying to get to and figure it out that way i think a lot of people whenever they make videos for everquest or anything else they're doing it for somebody else i'm not i'm doing it because i enjoy it because i think it's information some people may want to know or uh, something along those lines so use it as you will skip through it Play it for two or three minutes. Play it only for 30 seconds. It's not something I worry about. It's not a paycheck for me. It's it's something for a, a game that I am passionate about. So <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Um, that's all I can say about that. So um, I have a few videos that I do want to do after this one. Um, you know, it's kind of odd. Um, I watch Monk's what they do and everything and I think it's um, interesting that some people who are in the higher end of playing a monk don't know certain mechanics of the monk so I'm gonna be doing a video on that soon um, because again some people don't know the small details about certain mechanics of a monk because a lot of times uh, in the early levels, it's not the same as the higher levels. There are certain things that change, especially with mobs over level 51. So uh, I'm gonna be showing that. Um, I'm trying to think of other things. I, I have my Enchanter, who's now 46. I wanna work on them. I wanna play my, my Cleric more. I wanna try to get them to 46 so that I can go to Sky and, and uh, other places uh, that allow me to get more upgrades for the stupidity that, that that cleric is and of course i gotta continue working on my fashion quest i want to try to get him a pink robe um i want to get him <laughs> actually i think i'll make a lot of people mad if i get it but i want to get the um uh, uh, the um the vulac robe but uh, currently our guild isn't doing vulac but drafts are a thing alliances are a thing so maybe that will become a possibility who knows uh that said it is gonna be very hard for me to decide if i ever had that option or that opportunity if i would put it on a level 46 cleric or whatever level they are at the time or if i'm gonna put it on a level 60 necromancer who is already <laughs> pretty much best in slot so I mean, i'm not best in slot i'm probably 60 70 percent best in slot now uh, but it, that'd be a hard decision not to go with the necromancer but i think i would do it just because of the fact that a high elf cleric in a robe just looks dope and that's the best freaking robe in the whole game it's so nice anyway guys <laughs> that's me rambling for for 15 20 minutes or however long this has been I hope you enjoy what I do, and if you don't, I understand. And uh, thank you again for taking the time to watch the video for as long as you have, or or have not. <laughs> thank you again. This is Cypher Deck. Have a great day. And by the way, I want to end. I want to note that the music playing in this is um, Robert Ingston, and if you don't know who that is, he is the creator of the music for Monsters and Memories. Um, he's a friend of mine, i uh, played with him in Project 1999, and I reached out to him, and uh, man, he delivered with some great music. Thank you again, respectfully, Cypher Deck, peace out.